Hey guys, Chelsea Homer here, the digital dental assistant. I just wanted to show you with you how we do our wax ups, um, our cosmetic cases. We do all of them in house. We don't send them out to a lab. Um, so first thing we do, scan the patient. Obviously, super good scan, no bubbles. You're gonna export that into your Dropbox folder, that scan from whatever scanning machine you're using, your iTero. We personally use Prime Scan. So we're going to get a super good scan, upper, lower, and bite. No air bubbles, no saliva, nothing. Um, then we are going to bring it into Mesh Mixer and clean it up. Mesh Mixer is that free 3D print design program. Um, just make sure there's not a bunch of extra scan data. Everything looks nice and clean. If you want to, some people don't. They will digitally prep the models. Uh, we like to do that to ours. Um, it takes maybe an hour of computer work and I just really like the ease that it makes. So what I do is I literally in the computer prep the teeth, which that's a whole nother video I'll show you later. But so we digitally prep the teeth, make them smaller. And then we go into Blue Sky Bio, who has different libraries of teeth, and you can do all the editing, and we lay those teeth over top of that prep model. We create their wax that we would normally send to an expensive lab to do. Uh, so, you know, is he male, female, young, old? What are we doing? Do we need to elongate the teeth? Do we need to shorten them? What are we doing to them? Um, after you have done your wax up, which is definitely not an easy skill, some that takes quite a long time to master. But after you've done it, you think everything looks great. Um, it goes, the smile line goes nicely. Um, we have broadened the smile like we wanted to. Then we are going to just 3D print it. So we're just gonna 3D print that model. You can see nice, beautiful teeth. Put the patient's name on the back. This was actually for our hygienist, Lena. So these are her beautiful teeth. So 3D print these. Then we show it to the patient. The patient says, looks great. I love it. Our hygienist, Lena, um, wanted some veneers. So number up, prep the teeth. But we want our patients to test right these, right? Like we've already printed this model. Just get a putty, do a putty impression right over top of it. Don't too, go too far down because remember this putty has to go in their mouth. So don't like put it over the edge or anything. Make a nice putty. If you want to, you can even mark the midline, which shows you how to put it right back in their mouth. So now you have prepped the teeth in the operatory. Now you want to make some temporaries because we don't, when it's a huge cosmetic case, we don't do them all same day. We put some temporaries on them, have them come back in two weeks, which two weeks isn't a long time compared to a lab sometime for a cosmetic case can take a month. So then we are going to fill this up with integrity material, put it right back in their mouth, let them set up. Gives us beautiful margins. Um, if you want, I didn't do it with this one. You can be super extra. Line this with light body material, put it in their mouth, let it set up. Now you have beautiful temporaries with like perfect margins already because you've used light body. Trim them up a little. Okay, now you've made their temporaries. Now it's time for them to go there at the door. Now we need to make these veneers, crowns, whatever we're doing. Um, in this case, we used Emacs. So we are going through the Prime Scan program. Um, so as we all know, the Prime Scan doesn't like to connect to the 3D printer. Like you kind of have to move the files around. So instead of doing all that, all we do is just take the same 3D printed model that we used this for, take this model, scan it into the computer and then tell it to biocopy this. You'll need to scan all the posterior teeth too because full arch scans are always best, but it also needs a lot of unprepped area to merge that biocopy. Then once you do that, because you've already done all this work, all that work designing them is easy. Mill them out, stain them by hand, and now we have hacked the computer, designed them all ourselves, no lab fees. Um, the patient gets to test drive the design and uh, makes a better, easier outcome. So all we've done is 3D print what we want them to look like, use this to make their temporaries, make sure they like them, and then use this and just do a biocopy in the CEREC. It's so easy. You, it's easy because you don't have to use a different program. You know your CEREC, you love your CEREC. That's what you're already using. And obviously we need, to, we're going to put this on the Prime Mill or the MCXL, not a 3D printer. But this is one of those workflows where it takes kind of the best of everything and our patients love the results. Um, and I will post some pictures soon. So if you were wondering, that is how we do our Blue Sky Bio digital wax ups, uh, preparation and printing the teeth. All right, have a good one, bye.